Stanford University. I ask students here at Stanford to envision themselves at 30, and they can do that very easily. They imagine themselves as they are today, only with more money and nicer cars. <laughs> then I ask them to imagine themselves at 40, and it gets to be a little hazy, but they now have children. You go to 50 and 60, hazy, hazy, hazier, and you get to 70 or 80, and there's no image at all. They can't envision themselves. They can't picture themselves at that point in life. At the center, we work with over 130 faculty members who are spread across all seven schools at Stanford and bring them together to launch new research endeavors aimed at solving practical problems of aging individuals and aging societies. We decided to work on a project where we could actually present young participants with vivid, realistic images of themselves when they were at retirement age to see if that could impact long-term decision making. We use graphic software to build uh, an avatar that is a representation of a person to really make her face uh, in virtual reality look just like her face in the physical world. We then use graphics programs, algorithms to age that person, that is to deform the mesh of the face and to change the texture of the face so it's got the color and shape of what someone will look like in the future. Our participants come into the lab and we put the head-mounted display on their heads and in the virtual world and in our research experiment, participants see a virtual mirror in front of them and they spend a few minutes getting acquainted with that person who they're, who's staring right back at them in the mirror. And after a little while, after they've spent that time doing this exercise, we take the, the goggles off of their head and have them go through uh, several questionnaires, some of which relate to financial decision making. And those students who had interacted with their older avatars, their older selves, allocated twice as much money to their retirement savings as those students who had interacted with an avatar the same age as they are today. We're facing a crisis right now where young people are not putting enough money into retirement savings. And if we can have them, give them some visceral sense of what it's going to be like when they're older, uh, we can inspire them to save more money now. To the extent that the majority of people arrive at old age, mentally sharp, physically fit, and financially secure, then the problems of individual aging and societal aging really recede away and will begin to shift from a conversation about old age and frailty to a conversation about long life and health. And that's a much more interesting conversation to have. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.